Hello and welcome to Vlog 14. My name is Dr. Jonathan Yodi Kingsley and I'm a Senior Lecturer of Health Motion at Swinburne University of Technology. I'm coming to you from my veggie patch on the lands of the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. I would like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. So for this week, uh, as I like to do every so often for Vlog 14, I'd like to reflect back on the last three months of me putting myself to a challenge and putting together a vlog, um, a weekly vlog on how gardening improves health and well-being. And I've learned a lot over this last three months and hopefully I'll continue on that journey of learning throughout 2022 like I set myself uh, in the introduction video. So just to give you a bit of a summary of what's going on, um, this sadly is my last vlog that will come from my veggie patch here um, uh, in my old house. Uh, we are moving this week um, and hopefully um, I'll be able to create as uh, an as beautiful garden as I have here with my children. And this is the place I taught my children how to garden um, for the first time. My um, At that stage, my one and a half year old uh, daughter and um, my not yet to be born um, son uh, came here and then we uh, developed this garden together. The tomatoes you saw on my vlogs at the start of this um, session that we've been growing them and harvesting them for a long time. So it's a sad experience for me to leave this place, but on to the next journeys um, and challenges as we come. So to, just to recap um, of what I've covered over the last three months is we've had uh, three guest presenters uh, looking at COVID-19 and the health and well-being benefits of gardening over that time. I've looked back at research, um, looking at the social, the health, the well-being benefits of community allotment gardening and home gardening, um, from how it helps your heart to how it helps your community. Um, and we've co covered a lot of information there. And we've had over 1,500 viewers over that time. We, we um, I've given obviously 11 to 12 of those vlogs and I've always um, presented those guests in, uh, the three guests in. Now what I've noticed is that um, guest presenters um, are really a hit and, and we're going to have for the next uh, two vlogs two guest presenters. Then I'm going to be moving to my next challenge and what I'll be doing over the next half of this year is answering any questions you may have to me. I've only had one question so far. Thank you, Samantha, for your question. That'll be my first vlog um, answering questions. But what the challenge for me is, you'll send me an email, and my email is Dr. Uh, is jkingsley at swin.edge.au, and I'll put it at the end of this um, this uh, YouTube clip so you can see it. Um, you can just email me, and you can ask me a question. I'll respond to it weekly um, on the health, well-being, and social benefits of gardening. So I haven't got that yet. I've only got one, but hopefully we'll get more as we go on. Um, now, uh, I just wanted again to thank everyone who's been supporting me over the time. There's been a lot of likes and tweets um, and shares, and, and I hope this continues um, for time to go on. I think the time is now just after, well, not after COVID-19, COVID-19 is still going on, but for us to reflect on when gardening was peaking during COVID-19 and can we continue that and what is good for the community and what's not so good for the community around gardening and what can it do and what can it not do. Um, and they're the kind of questions I want to challenge myself over the second half of this year to do. Um, and I hope you will come with me on the journey. So thank you once again and um, we'll continue this vlog uh, next week with our guest presenter and I'll, I'll announce that later this week.